guys, this is Rage, and today I'm going to be showing you a draft thing I'm doing for Big Bronze. So a draft is pretty much where you choose one Pokemon, or two Pokemon in some cases, from each category. And OU stands for overused, like Pokemon that are used a bit too much. This might stand for underused, rarely used, never used. I forgot what that one stands for. This is Mega, so you're going to choose a Mega. Borderline, which is like between one of these two, so it can't fit. And overused means like how much it's used in a battle. And underused is like means not as used as much and rarely used and then never used. And then this is in between though. So it's like in between one of these two categories of and just because it's used a lot doesn't mean it's that good. Well this is me of age. I'm gonna be doing this with Banda Raccoon and Elite Phoenix from the last video, the 2v2 video. This will help me, also help me to get to the top 20, because, yeah, if I have a really good team like this one, the draft's helping me make, then I'll probably be able to beat more people and get to a higher rank, so. So, for my OU, I chose Toxapex. I already had one made, because this means complete, and it's pretty good, because it has Merciless, and pretty much the best Pokemon, one, in my opinion, one of the best Pokemon out there, because with Merciless and Baneful Bunker, Baneful Bunker does it, so it's pretty much whenever it hits, if they use an attack move on you, while you use Baneful Bunker and Baneful Bunker's priority, so it goes before them, and if they hit you, you get fully protected from all the damage, and they get poisoned, and what's the move? Well, what, yeah, Merciless and Venoshock, because Venoshock does double damage when poisoned, and Merciless, um, the ability on Toxapex makes it um, crit, and that doubles it by 1.5, so that, that gets a lot of damage. Also, Scald's pretty good for it, and Recovers, so it can just troll people when it recovers. Ferrothorn, Primarina, Jolteon, Dorgia, Torterra, Charizard Y, okay. I'm breeding that, so I kind of know how it can be used. I chose that for my Mega, because Charizard Y can be good, because it... When it use it has an ability when it mega evolves into Charizard Y, that makes it so Solar Beam a Grass Move only takes one turn to reach or to like use I guess instead of two. So and people normally don't know what that ability does. They think oh it's just a random ability. He doesn't know how to use it. But then they send in like a Water type against me, and it doesn't work because I just Solar Beam them and some most of the time I'm faster. Conkeldor Porygon two. I know how to use that so. Porygon 2, my set is Eviolite for the item. I'm pretty sure it needs a Calm Nature. Then I have Ice Beam, Charge Beam, Toxic, and Recover. I might need to learn how to use that a bit better. I have a Porygon 2, but it's not Ivy Bread or anything. So I'm going to have to get into it. It just means I'm going to have to get another upgrade. Oh, that, um, that evolves it into up. Why does this keep appearing? So... Yeah, I need to get another upgrade to so upgrade a Porygon into a Porygon 2. And what makes Porygon 2 hard to breed is the fact that it's genderless. It means it has to be the Ditto, and my Ditto in Big Bronze isn't the best. It has a 31 special defense, and the rest of the IVs are under 10. So, yeah. Then, Dartrix. I've made one of those. So, my set's Leaf Blade, um, Sucker Punch, let me just try to remember, Roost, and... What was the final one? It was something. I'll, I'll probably think of this when I'm uploading the video. So, Dark Tricks would be pretty good. Be oh, yeah, and Swords Dance. Swords Dance, if they're setting up, you just set up. Or, because you can't really stop them when they're setting up unless you have a good move. So, if they start setting up, I'll start, use I'll start Swords Dancing once or twice, depending on how much time I have. Then I'll either Leaf Blade, or I'll go in for a Sucker Punch if they're faster, because that makes I have, so I have priority. Um, yeah, and Dartrix is also an Eviolite. I'm pretty sure it's fine to have two Eviolite Pokemon. They're both my freeze, and yeah, free means you can choose anything that's not an Uber. At least that's why we did it, and Ubers are Pokemon that totally just shred through teams. Like Marshadow, for instance. That's a pretty Uber, because it, I don't think it has, like, any to many weaknesses. I'm pretty sure Banner Raccoon's running a rain team, and I have no idea what Elite Phoenix is doing. Or just Phoenix, for sure. But... All I know is that Ferrothorn's a big threat to rain teams, and as soon as I knew he was going to do that, I made my OU um, Ferrothorn along with Toxapex. So you can see here, Elite Phoenix has bred five, no, that's just the 
MZ crystallized. I just water MZ for Prime Arena because that's pretty good for it. At least that's what I know. And yeah, I'm gonna start breeding these soon, but first I'm gonna go to my page. Which is where, oh, I wrote them down here. I was talking about them. These are, I wrote down all the natures here, just so I've got them when I'm breeding. And these are what I want my Charizard's IVs to be. I want them to be all 31, the types of attacks that doesn't need that. Here's the base stacks. I don't know what I'm going to EV turn it in yet. Yeah, it has Charizard, oh, it's Blaze, okay. But when it Mega Evolves, it gets a different ability, so I'll just take that out now. Yeah, Torterra, I, I know what's going to be. Synthesis Warhammer, I know that much. I don't really, I haven't figured out where to put the, um, the rest of it, but. Adamant's a good nature for it. Overgrow. That's like the basic ability, and I'm not gonna breed for a heart. So yeah, this is the Porygon I was talking about. So Charge Beam, Ice Beam, Toxic Recover. And it's gonna be a calm nature, so I was right when I said earlier. Hope I wanted to have all 30 ones except what it doesn't need. I don't know what it doesn't need at the moment. Might be attack, but it might need attack, so. Yeah, because Ice Beam and Charge Beam are both Yeah, and Charge Beam boosts your special attack, so yeah, I don't think it needs attack. Now here's the Dark Tricks. I haven't actually wrote down its IVs. It's from the actual game. Yeah, my Toxamex is an 8 in attack and it needs low speed. Because that helps it do well. I haven't filled up the rest of these. As you can see, I'm going to be making a video soon. Just about me breeding them. Maybe a live stream. Probably not. And I'll just give updates for this. It's going to be pretty much my Big Bronze Quest of the Top 20 thing because... Yeah, it's just going to help me make draft pokes. Also, I'm going to make sure to get back to Minecraft sometime soon. As you can see, it's down here. And, yeah, I'm not ending the video yet, though. I want to show you Phoenixes. This is amazing. He's filled it all out. He hasn't bred them all out. But Phoenix is, like, better than all of us, than me and Bandit combined. I mean, look at, he's filled all of this out. I mean, all of this, and we have only started this draft for, like, a week, and I've, I've read some. So, like, he has all the abilities except for this one, Armaldo, rest ability, ability less. And then, I don't think Bandit's done a single thing, so. Yeah, if you want to see me doing this for the draft, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment section, and leave a comment in the comment section below, talking about this, to also, just try to join the Rage Regiment. You do that by joining my Discord and just, like, subbing and stuff. So, I guess that's going to be the end of this video. And I already said the outro. So, I guess just stay tuned for more draft and more just random videos. So, bye, guys.